Wow, here we go. You think you could actually fill in your own tax return? Well, you've done all the work now. Let's try and get it together. Look around the screen there. To do taxes, lots of work in taxes. You've got to go to all these tables. So what I've done here is stayed with Hayes, Hayes and Harris screen clippings from there. And they've got the old tables there because uh, I've got their, uh, their exercises and the answers will match up if we use the old tables. It's changed a bit, but the idea is still the same. So here we go. Do you remember all of these? The tax payable. Uh, here is a calculation of a rebate and uh, down here as well another rebate medicare um, refund of uh, part of the uh, premium from medicare there was a lot of stuff let's try to organize it so that you can see how to do a tax return in simple stages let's go down i've got a little uh, flow chart here's uh, huddy's flow chart here of the first stage here first of all you work out the accessible income that's all the income that you get, even tips and stuff like that, odd jobs. You then subtract your allowable deductions. Now that gives you your taxable income, the amount that the government wants to tax you on. So it's really all the, the money that's free after you had to uh, spend some to make that income. So that's the deductions. And then you calculate the tax owed. Now I've got here, this is the latest one for 2013-2014. Um, it has changed a bit over the years since 2007-2008. So we were using those tables. Did you get that? Okay, well let's go down and have a look at the next steps. The next thing is everybody has to contribute to Medicare. So if we have a look at that, there's a Medicare levy table and of course for the first bracket you don't have to pay anything and then it varies. At the moment I think it's sitting on 1.5% but we'll use this table as I said before. Now adjusting for a health fund. If you're in a health fund you can claim part of the payments to that fund 30% or if you're older 35% and 40% are encouraging people to be in health funds look after themselves okay and in fact if you uh, aren't in a health fund and you get over a certain amount you could have a levy charge levy charge so if you're over a certain income and you don't choose to go into a health benefit fund then they can charge you I think it's another one percent or something okay so uh, we're not going to go into all of that here because it does get fairly complicated but you do need to adjust for the health fund if you're in one you'll get some of the premiums back then you subtract rebates and this is where it gets quite complicated doesn't it tax benefit A and age of children and then there's a, an old age um, rebate yeah, or low income rebate lots of things like that so that has to be really checked carefully and we're going to do that in simple fashion here in the problems coming up and then finally down here we go to the interesting part tax payable now after you subtracted all of that or added on the Medicare charges subtracted the rebates and then you're going to put you know, here you could submit it electronically or in hard copy to the Australian Tax Office. So doing e-tax or just hard copy, filling on all the forms. And now you want to calculate your refund or the tax due. That's the final stage. How much did they take out in group certificates and on the group certificates and how much uh, were you supposed to pay? If you pay too much, you'll get a refund. If you didn't pay enough, you'll get a, B, a bill. More tax will be due. Let's go and look at some problems so that we can actually do this. This is powerful because most people do not understand taxation well enough to do their own tax return. All right, so here is our problem. Amanda, age 45, has a husband and two children, age 16 and 17. She's got a taxable income of 51,280. Okay, so they've already taken off the deductions. Accessible income has had deductions taken away and you've got a taxable income. 
a family pays one thousand two hundred and thirty eight per annum in private health insurance, and a man as partner earned two thousand eight hundred during the year, so he's only working part time. Calculate a man as net tax payable. All right, here we are. So we're up here in the flow chart. The earlier stages have been done. We want to calculate the tax owed. Okay, tax payable. First of all. Uh, 51,280 if you look at the table base rate 30,000 plus the rate into that uh, tax bracket is 20 uh, is 21,280 so tax on 30,000 is 3,600 and 30 cents is the rate in that bracket we've done this before so total tax payable is that now we're adding on some of these other things. Medicare levy, 1.5%. That's got to be added on. Now, adjust for health fund. Now, it's assumed here that the, uh, she's got the discount as she paid it. So sometimes when you pay the health fund, they only charge you the 30, uh, they only charge you 70% uh, of the um, total because they know at the end of the year the government will pay the other 30%. So that's been included there now. Sometimes it's like that and sometimes you can claim it back on your tax. OK, let's subtract the rebates. Family tax benefit A. You've got two children, uh, 1890 and there's no reduction on that because what's he getting? 2800 Part B here is 2595 15 should we go back and check those figures in the table? Let's go back up and see if we can check those figures in part A and part B. Let's go back up here. Um, where are we? Part A and part B. Here we are. Part A and then part B. There's a figure there. I think those are the figures we need, aren't they? Part A and part B. You have to keep going back to the table. 1890 times 2. Yep, and the other one's 2595. No reduction because he didn't earn too much there. Okay, so there we have 6376.55. So the this has to be added on and this has to be subtracted because it's a rebate oh no they have done the pri private health insurance rebate down here separately subtract that as well okay so these have to be added and then we've got our two rebates our health fund rebate and therefore we'll come to an answer tax payable now in the next little section we're going to actually try to work out whether she'd get a refund or have to pay more we won't do that here. I'll just give you some problems to follow in the same way. OK, so let's have a look then at some problems. Just a few here from Hayes, Hayes and Harris. Calculate the tax that should have been paid. Tax payable, that is, net tax payable in the following cases. So go through, check the rebates, check those tables back at the beginning of this video and see what you think. Um, you might have to go back to the textbook to look at uh, some of the details of um, the lower thresholds for the person working, okay, for the, for the person, the second person working, whether they get too much. All right, uh, away you go, see what you think. Uh, pause the presentation now and go back over all that and I'll show you the answers now. Here we go. So there are our answers for that. All right, got something more for you here. So this is the final stage in our calculation, the calculation of tax refund or tax bill. Everybody wants to know, am I going to get any of my tax back? And usually you do because people are generally taxed according to the table and then you've got your deductions and that hasn't been accounted for by the tax office, so most people do get a refund. OK, to calculate the refund, what do you do? You find out how much tax was paid, that is listed on your group certificate. And then you take away the tax payable. I've got this in a smaller box,
because generally you pay more tax than what you have to because they haven't allowed for all your deductions and rebates and stuff. So the tax payable is what we calculated and then we take that away. Of course, if this is bigger, then we'll be in the negative. We won't have paid enough. This will be smaller and we'll have to pay tax. So uh, we hope that's not going to happen. All right, let's have a look. Calculate the tax refund or tax bill given the following details. Justin has a taxable income of 35,850 rebates of 860, tax instalments paid 5,316. So they're shortening the calculations for us. They're not putting it all together with assessable income minus deductions and so on. So tax payable on 35,850, I'll put it over here. So there's your bracket in there. Okay, so what is it? It's 3600 okay, plus uh, how far into the bracket? We're 5850 times 30 cents. Why? Because there's the bracket there. So here, adding that on, we get total tax payable there. Okay, now we can add the levy, 1.5% of the gross which is there. Rebates, we've been told that, we didn't have to look up tables so we're going to take these away. Rebates uh, away here, so net tax payable is that. Now, what's the tax pay? So look up the group certificate and we've got this one minus this one. Okay, so refund due $283.25. Not a lot there. So remember Come back up the top here, the refund or tax due, you get the tax pay from group certificates and minus the tax payable. Okay, and if it's less, we would owe the tax office money and they would send us a bill. All right, this is all done at the end of the financial year. You have from, I think, about June the 30th onwards. Hang on, uh, the end of financial year is June 30. So between June 30th and I think the end of October, October 31st, you have uh, those that, that, that span of time to get your return in, either electronically or hard copy. And then they look at it and send you back either a bill or a refund. OK, let's have a look at some problems like that. Get the hang of it. Oops, I've given you the answers here. We'll just hide those for a minute. Calculate tax refund or tax bill in the following cases. Taxable income, find the bracket, rebates, and then work out um, whether you paid more, uh, paid enough or paid more, whatever. Okay, so have a go, set that problem out the same as this. I'll just bring this up here so you can see that and use the tax table there. Okay, let's look at the answers. And here we have our answers down here. <coughs> One person had to pay a bill, I see. Okay. All right. Um, why would they have to pay a bill? Maybe they earned more than uh, what the group certificates covered. In other words, they might have had some part-time jobs or odd jobs or tips, and uh, they had to pay tax on that, which hadn't been taken out yet, something like that. OK, let's go on to a final thing here. Can you fill in a whole tax return for yourself? And here it is here. So I've got the whole thing here in 1C6. There we are. In these, you've got to do the whole lot from the beginning to the end. So here, tax, uh, calculate whether tax refund is due or whether tax, more tax, is to be paid. So we've got the, the, the assessable income, you've got to do this, subtract the deductions, union fees, work out the taxable income, uh, calculate therefore the tax owed, like we've done there, then add the Medicare, uh, adjust for any health fund, subtract rebates, work out the final tax payable, and work out from the group certificate. So it's the whole thing put together in 1C6. This should make you feel good that you actually could do your own tax return. 
you may still get an accountant or a tax agent to do it because they uh, can work out more deductions that you, than what you might think of. They know uh, more specifically all the legal deductions you're allowed. Okay, so have a go there at those problems. A 1C6 now. Um, B, work carefully, systematically setting it out at each stage like we have. So this is the final stage where we put it all together. So don't forget any of these steps. I've made a nice flow diagram here for you, one step after the other, and away you go. Okay, and I'll show you the solutions in a minute now. So uh, try to set it out carefully. Okay, here's the uh, solutions, that, or the answers rather. There we have it. I see what you think. That comes. Uh, that brings us to the end of um, earning uh, part. Now we're going to go into the spending section next. So we've looked at how we earn money and the tax that we're having to pay and how much we like to have left at the end. All right. So I'll, ca I'll catch you in the next presentation.